also a four-wheeler. It wasn't a small one, it wasn't a big one. But he was the only boy in the community that actually wore a helmet, and I guess it was because of mom. And there's Dustin, face down on the blacktop, bleeding out his ears, his nose, his mouth, full blood around his face. All this hair was crushed in. Thing on the thing on his on, on his, his helmet on his helmet that went out like this, it hit me. Yeah. And the head of the trauma team just said, um, "Massive injuries. Nothing we can do." They they said I was gonna die. Dustin's way of always consoling me was to rub my shoulders and say, Mom, it'll be all right. So <clears throat> after the nurse went out of the room from taking his blood pressure, he slowly turned his head over to me and mumbled, it'll be all right. If he'd had a helmet on, I'm sure he would have gotten, you know, injuries, but not like what he did. You, you can get a whole lot of, you can get a whole lot of damage. Not even, not even by head, not even by head, even by shoulders or something other. Hey, hey, it can get, it can get a lot of damage. Next Wednesday, I think that's the 22nd, mm -hmm. will be 13 years since his accident. It was. I, I survived 13 years. Yes, you have, and many more.